back. I have a great night last night. We have a Thanksgiving party at Gloria Messer's house. She was the cook. She was the hostess. She brought a whole table. Am I right? A whole table with food, with turkey, with, uh, I don't know, with all kinds of desserts, pumpkin pie. Right, Arthur English? Everybody was there. We had fun. I didn't get drink, drunk. I don't drink. I'm very healthy. But I enjoyed it 100%. Gloria, I want to send my love to you and thank you for such a wonderful time last night. Black Friday, didn't buy one thing. No time. I should have gone to Best Buy, to Apple. I heard that, the, what do you call those iPads? They were like half price. And I missed it because I didn't have time. When you're a busy woman and you gotta pay the bills, you don't have time for that. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. And I, before I introduce my guest, I wanna mention that I went to the movies to see Lincoln last night. Directed by Steven Spielberg, a great movie, great director. Daniel Day-Lewis will win the Oscar for the third time. He's such a crafted, gifted, gifted actor. He delivers a flawless performance. Exquisite, talented, humble, down to earth. He captured Lincoln's uh, essence. 100%. He was right on. The cast was right on. Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Spader, a great cast, great movie, five stars. I want to see Tommy Lee Jones winning Best Supporting Actor. I seen Tommy Lee Jones the election day in Times Square. Oh, he's so attractive and he's so tall. And my husband is going to kill me, but what the hell? I'm still a woman. Until the day I die, I can't help it. Now, let's cut to the chase. We have a very special guest tonight, a very talented young man, a songwriter, a musician, a man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, like I said it last night. Every woman's dream and every, no, every woman's dream and every mother's nightmare. Alex Byrne, did I say it right, Alex? You said it correctly. Uh, I'm so glad to have you here. I don't know why it took so long to bring you here, man. We've been busy, you've been busy, I guess. And you've been busy <laughs> too, been busy. you're a busy guy. Um, we, I talked to your brother on the phone and we set this up, oh, how long, over a year ago. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, we were having our tea backstage there, why it took so long to bring you here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Very, I was listening to your music and you're so sensible, your sensitivity. <laughs> I can feel it, man. Men are so obsessed to look tough. <laughs> There's no sessions for you. You're a free man, a free spirit. You're I try to. I try to. You yes. try to. Can yeah. we go back to your past, your background, sure. growing up? You're from Dominican Republic. Yes, that's correct. I was born there. You were born there, and you came to the United States what about? 12, uh, Thirteen years. Thirteen now. years ago. I came here for college. You came and, for college. Uh, I, while being in college, is when I actually realized that music was really what I wanted to do, and I figured. Might as well just stay here. Why if I not? I really want to try to do it. <laughs> what about it your and... mom and dad? What did they say when you decided to be here, to stay here? Uh, I, I guess they knew. They, they knew, knew that it was just part of our upbringing. My brother came here first. Uh huh. And even me, when I was growing up, I just, I guess I knew I was eventually going to go to college. And I knew four years before he did that I was, I guess, I'll be next. <laughs> right. And, and it's, it, you make the right choice. This is oh, the yeah, place yeah. to be, right? Yeah. Even yeah. though it's a little tough to be away from home, I can tell you that. Yes, it is. It gets it tough, is. right? Yeah. It gets rough, too? Yeah. Would you yeah. like to go back? It gets or lonely, you think it gets lonely at here? times. <laughs> yeah. Alex, what do you think? You're going to stay here? You're going to oh, go yeah. back? Yeah. I, I always said to myself, when I left Dominican Republic, I always felt, eh, I'm going to be back for sure. Uh-huh. Six months into college, I said, well, I, I think, think I'm so. not going to go back. Oh, Because uh, I, I just saw the possibilities. I just saw a, a dream was starting to come alive, I guess. And right. That music, I, can, I sensed it. I was getting ready. A makeup room, and you were singing, rehearsing. Um, you're very, very sensible, very sensitive, but you're not afraid to be sensitive, which is kind no. of great <laughs> in a man. It's so unheard of because men they always want to look tough and rough and ah, and power. <laughs> I'm the man and I, you don't need to show any of that. I admire, I respect that a lot. Well, Where is you. that coming from, from your mom or your dad? Uh, more so from my mom's side. From your yeah. mother's side. My mom's side is the artistic side. My, oh, really? father's, my father's side is a business side. Your father's a businessman? Yeah. Yes, Is he is. tough? 
he's a he's a tough businessman, but it's not that he's a tough father or anything. No, like no, that, but he's no. a tough man. He's a tough business guy. He's, he's a tough, yeah. And your mama has a sensitivity going on. But you'll be surprised. My father's a very sensitive guy. He's, he's, <laughs> well, I can see. Cause I see. I see you. Yeah. I met your brother too. Yes. yes. And he's very sensible, but but it's different. You you more like. La sensibilidad a flor de piel is una cosa que uno la siente. Ay, guys, I wish I could describe that. I can't. But you, want, you know when, when somebody is so special that you can sense it, almost you can smell it, you can even feel it. And well, it feels you. good. It feels like I'm home with you, well, Alex. I'm glad you can feel it. Yes. Now, your music is love. Yeah, most of it, yes. Most of it. How many times your heart has been broken? Uh, I know I shouldn't, that's not my business. Obviously, I figured we would go into this, but uh, heartbroken, I would say about two or three times. I'll go with two. You go with two? Yeah. Is it hard to recover, you think? It is, yeah. When Why you do, so when tough, you do, you When you do give yourself... Completely. Completely. Starting again, it's, uh, it's tough. It's just, you, you feel you were going a certain path, and then we're... You thought you were going, all of a sudden, crumbles. Right. It's like you have to start all over again. Right. Yeah. What feeds you? What inspires you? What turns you on? In terms uh, of work, not women. It, <laughs> <laughs> I promise we're not going to talk about that, even though I'm tempted. I'm very <laughs> tempted, but I leave that out. In terms of uh, work, work? In terms of musicians, what kind of people do you look up to? What kind of artist oh, do uh, you like? I would say people that f have a dream and pursue it no matter what. You never give uh, up. Yeah. And that's what, actually, what I've tried to do, at least for the past three years. I left my job three years ago to try to pursue this dream. And it's been really tough. I never thought I would have taken that step. Uh, but I don't regret it at all. I mean, it's been the toughest decision, the toughest times also, because certain things I was hoping to, to happen did not go through as I was expecting or as I was promised in a way and uh, you know you just have to pick yourself back up and try to keep on doing it. I started working again just to be able to pay the bills while I'm still doing it. Of course, well I'm going to pay the bills, <laughs> college, mortgage, phones, yeah. cable, phone bill, the iPhone. How there much you, you pay for an iPhone? I don't even know how much. I have to get an iPhone myself. I don't have one. Shame on me. I'm a businesswoman. I'm an entertainer. <laughs> I know you're doubting it. Is that Gina Bonatti? Oh, baby, I'm so glad you're here. We're going to sit down right after. We're going to have, I have a very a special friend of mine. She's an exquisite actor, one of the best actresses I've ever seen. She's a member of the Actors Studio. And we're going to have a nice conversation, baby, right after. I'll change my clothes and I'll sit down with you, baby. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. And I know you can speak Spanish. I know you can. Yeah. God. In Mexico. In Mexico. In Mexico. A very talented woman. You see, guys, when you can do it all, you can do it all. Am I right, Alex? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I mean, what is that gift? Your talent, your ability. Your mom has artistic side. Your father is a businessman. Where do you think your talent came from? Or in, uh, in other words, how do you discover yourself? Do you remember the time when you looked at yourself in the mirror and said, OK, this is who I am, and this is what I want to be? I, I can be that. I can be a singer. I can be a songwriter. Do you remember that, that moment? Well, I know the day that I knew that this is what I wanted to do was while in college, I actually had a band. And I was just doing it for fun. And we decided to record a, a CD. Mm -hmm. We recorded four songs which uh, I hear it now, and I think it's a horrible recording, but... I would love to <laughs> hear it. Can I, can I hear it? Do you share that, or you keep it? I don't have it on me, but I wow. guess we can... I would like can, to. I'm sure my brother has it. We can find it. Yes. But it turns out we gave the CDs away at the end of the spring semester. Uh-huh. And, well, we sold them, actually, because we, we needed to make some kind of money. Of course. Well, we've got to pay the bills, too. <laughs> exactly. And the following fall semester, we had a performance in college, and... All of a sudden, I hear people singing along to our songs. Right. And even people that are friends with me now that I didn't even know of, a fr a one, actually my best friend, she was her first semester. I was playing a song, and she's, I see this girl I don't even know, and she's singing along to my music. 
and I'm seeing people singing along to my music, and I'm like, wow, this, oh, is, this, is, powerful, this is what I want to do. It was so a great powerful. feeling. It's so powerful. When you have people singing your music. Yeah, and that's when I knew. I just it's knew when you know that that's what you want to do. Yeah. Now, do you think you're going to find, I know I don't want to get intimate, but I can't, I can't help it. I just can't help it. When we're dealing with human beings, when we're talking, because <laughs> this is a conversation, you can't help it. Um, I'm thinking. That's why I'm quiet. <laughs> Do you think that you're going to come up in your life, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to be able to find somebody that I can share my life with? Do you think that's possible? I believe it. You yeah. believe it? I believe it. Though I've been... Uh, uh, as you grow up, right. you start realizing maybe as when I thought I was like, oh, so madly in love and I knew that things were going to be perfect. And then when it doesn't work out as you expected at the time, you think it's the end of the world. Right. And then I'm thinking of it, if I think of it now, I knew I wasn't ready then. Right. And but life, would you be able you know, to settle down now? No. Oh, I was about to hear you five. <laughs> Oh, man, you can't, you can't. It's very tough uh, to find yourself in the relationship yeah. and then commit it to your work. She has to be able to understand what you do. And that's the thing. Uh, unfortunately, well, I don't want to say my music has been partly my curse because it's been part of the... Your blessing. Uh, yeah. I say but, all this happened for a reason. Right. And if anything, I thank all the relationships that I've been through because it gave me music. It gave me songs to write. Right. If not, I wouldn't. <laughs> we went to black for a little bit, Gloria. I, I don't want to scare you, but Danny, that's okay. And the video switcher, that's okay. Guys, don't panic. This is the live show. It was beautiful. We went black for two seconds. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm here to shake it, baby. Black I, Friday. That, it's oh, Black there you Friday. Go. There you go, baby. It's Black Friday. So there you go. But basically, Alex, you're willing to die for your music. What's your yeah. first priority in your life? Right now, I'm trying to pursue my dream. It's your music. My music, yeah. Okay. And women, they can come after it. They yeah. want. And that's, I guess, in a way, that's what's happened in other relationships. I guess it felt like there was, they were second. Yeah. But, but women, we need attention, Alex. Yeah, but it's not like I never, I would say they need to understand there's always got to be a balance. And yeah. Well, I tell you, you have to be committed and passionate, and you got to yeah. love what you do. And if you find somebody who can understand your dream, perfect. But if it doesn't happen... You're not going to die. I believe it will happen. It will ha I know. Yeah. You're beautiful. You're trying to be a gorgeous <laughs> man. You can get anybody you want. Okay, thank you. But what I'm trying to, t I'm trying to pick you up. Um, <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is that, that you know, your music has got to come first. This is your dream. This is your life. And you're going to live it the way you want to live it. And I'm not preaching. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, OK, I, I want to have you singing, Alex. Because sure. it's almost quarter to eight. All I right. can't believe it. So you go. Make sure that, you're, that your mic is. Yeah, that's good. We're going to have Alex singing. Gloria, I'm going to stay right here. Make sure you got your mic, Alex. And you got your guitar. This is beautiful. We're going black again. It's Black Friday. What the hell? I want to make sure that we are right on. There you go, Gloria. I can't be disconnected. That's my mic. Are you OK? Yep. Everything is good. Make sure that we have the cameras right in place. Arthur English, what are you moving around? I'm talking to you. Arthur? Yeah, I want you in that camera. So whenever you're ready, Alex, let's hear your music. All right, this song's called One Voice. Look around the world and tell me if what you see feels right. You are not the one being left behind. Look at where you stand. Don't tell me that your hands are tied. You want to change, but you're just standing by. Could it be someone like you? Could it be someone like me? It makes no sense in pointing at who's to blame. Just lend a hand, the world has everything. 